Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. I am the Grateful Queen and this is a channel all about reselling. I'm a reseller which means I buy things to sell on eBay and Poshmark. Mostly clothing for me and mostly women's clothing. I'm part-time so that's what I have the time and energy for and it's what I know the best. I've been doing it since 2011 and I started this channel a number of months ago just to kind of document my process of improving my stores, improving my Poshmark closet and my eBay store, and trying to make more money per item on those platforms, and um, recognizing that this started out as a hobby, and now it really is um, a business for me, a part-time business for me, which I love and enjoy. I do it for fun, and I do it for extra income. It's great. Today, we are talking about the Goodwill Outlet again. <laughs> if you've seen any of my other videos, I'm actually driving to the Goodwill outlet now, you guys. So I figure why not chat with you on my way. And I don't have the best phone holder, so we'll see how it goes. So I just dropped my son off at circus camp. He's going to be eight next month and it's only a few hours long. So rather than drive all the way home, I'm going to hit the Goodwill outlet. The Goodwill Outlet is a thrift store, a Goodwill thrift store where you pay by the pound instead of by the item. At my outlet, it's $1.79 a pound. That's higher than a lot of other resellers that I follow. Sometimes people are saying it's like $1.29 or 99 cents if you buy a certain amount of weight. That's not true at my place. It's just $1.79 for shoes and for clothes. That's what it is, which is still cheap. So, I'm on my way there. I'll see if I can get any footage. I like to be really respectful of people's privacy there, but I think it's okay if I don't, like, zoom in on anybody and I just get um, some, like, bins footage for those of you that are curious. So, it's called the Goodwill Outlet, a.k.a. the bins or the dig. Everyone in my area calls it the dig. And that's literally because they wheel out these huge blue bins and you dig through the clothing and put what you want in your cart. And then at mine, you go up and actually weigh your whole cart and pay that way. So what I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about is my continued process of evaluating whether shopping at the Goodwill outlet is the best for me with my current business model or whether going to church thrift stores and yard sales and things is best. I went to the, the bins about, what's it been, three weeks a month? I have, I think I have some haul videos up from the bins trip. I know I have more I need to upload for you. So what I'm evaluating is if I go to a thrift store and I pay for things by the item, like a long sleeve top, let's say is $4. That's expensive cost of goods. So my profit is not gonna be that much if I spend $4. So I'm trying to get my cost of goods down. That totally makes sense, right guys? However, when I go to the thrift store and, and slowly push through the racks, I tend to get better items it's very tempting at the Goodwill outlet to buy things just because they're cheap. I, I think a lot of us have that problem like, oh my gosh, it's only a dollar, let's get it. But it's not necessarily an item that's going to sell for $25 and that's really what I'd love to see, $20 and higher. So I have to be very disciplined. Let's see how I do today. I'm gonna try and show you a haul after this, show you what I got. I'm going to try and discipline myself to get things that I think I can sell for around $20. So 18 to 25 or something at minimum. That is the goal. I don't always succeed with that. Um, but what I'd like to do over the next few months is compare my sales. You know, what am I getting at the Goodwill outlet and what is it selling for? And is it a good place for me to shop? Or am I better off since I'm only part-time and I can't do this like every day out thrifting and listing, is it better for me to just go to my church thrift store and spend four or five dollars on an item and be more selective? The, um, there's a link below in the description. You can find me on Instagram at Grateful Queen Bee. And there's a lot of good conversation about this over there on Instagram. And I'm really appreciative of the community 
Um, this is so funny. My, I'm sorry about the video quality, but whatever. I'm trying. Anyway, there's been a lot of good conversation. I recently had a conversation with some other resellers on there about bins versus um, other thrift stores. And everybody hands down was like bins, bins, bins. So I'm like, okay, let me go give it another shot. I used to go um, a lot back in the day, like some years ago. But in, back in the day when I was newer, I would sell things for $9.99, $12.99, no problem. And I just sold a lot more quantity. But I, I don't want to be doing that right now. I want to do less quality, higher price per item. Not everybody can do that because it depends where you live and what access you have to thrift stores and brands. I live in Northern California, so I can find a lot of good brands here. It's not just small brands. I can find a lot of log and look brands. I'm not finding like high-end designers, but I'm finding, you know, stuff that I can flip for 25 bucks all the time. So I'll take you into the bins a little bit. I'll do a haul afterward and maybe you can help me evaluate. Leave a question or a comment or feedback in the um, comments and I'll see you in a little bit with some clips. Thanks guys. Okay guys, so I'm outside the Goodwill outlet. I'll try and show you a little bit of footage from in there, but this is one of those crazy things about life that I keep learning and learning, which is things don't always go as expected and we have to be flexible with our business, with our plans, with our partners and kids for that matter. Anyway, so I get there to the Goodwill outlet where I go to buy mostly women's clothes because that's what I sell, that's the majority of my store, and they're having a day that is entirely hard goods, like no clothes. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll just look at the shoes. But I've been having sort of a love-hate relationship with shoes where I will bring home shoes that need to be cleaned or polished, you know, the bottoms need to be cleaned, and I just don't do it, so they end up sitting. So my new thing is to buy clothes that um, don't need much work, buy shoes that don't need much work. So that's what I've been doing, and I've been listing them, and I have been selling them. So I got like five or six pairs of sandals at a yard sale a couple months back, and I've sold almost every single pair. So they do sell. I just have to be honest with myself about how much work I'll do. But that's all they had today really was hard goods, which is just crap. And then they did have a shoe section and most of the shoes were not in great shape. So I had to make the best decisions. So here's what I have. I, got, I always get these throw blankets, you guys. I just love them for the house. Um, this bag is full. I got a couple of purses. I did find a fossil purse. It's not in perfect condition. It needs a little cleanup, but it's still a fossil bag. So I'll do a haul probably later for you guys, but this bag has bags in it. This bag has a bunch of DVDs for my son and some hats. So it did get me to kind of branch out. Like how cute is this O'Neill hat? Snapback, if I don't keep that, it'll probably sell. I got some sun hats, some things I wouldn't normally pick up because I don't go near the hard goods when I'm here. An entire cart full and it was $33. I got some bags to try out, like this messenger bag. Looked like comps were pretty good on that. This is an entire bag of shoes. This was an awesome score. These are kids' um, bogs, which I've sold before, $25 or $30 usually. Aren't those so cute? So I got a ton of shoes. I tried to get some that need minimal work. They all need at least a little cleanup. <sighs> we'll see how I do. Aren't these clerks so cute? These little studded booties. 
They just need a little cleanup. I got some Merrells, which usually the outdoor shoes do awesome for me. Not awesome, but you know, $25 range and they sell quick. So, hopefully I'll get to a haul, but this is what ended up happening. Me, who's saying like, I don't wanna do shoes, got tons of shoes. And I've been doing pretty well with bags and belts. So, more later. Okay. Okay guys, I'm back to do a quick haul. I'll try and show as much as I can without this video getting too long. This is from my bin strip. Here's my receipt. I spent $35.80, which for me is, I almost feel like they might have rung me up wrong because it's $1.79 a pound, but it was just wear's day, so it might have been a different system today. So I got this throw blanket, which is probably a couple dollars in itself. It's nice and heavy and really good condition. I showed you these. These are Boggs boots. These are in really great shape too. Um, they don't need much cleanup, which I absolutely appreciate. I got these Sanook women's sandals, size, let's see, size US 9. They, these are like yoga mat flip-flops. Um, here's the little, they're really light. And they go for about $20. I got this entire stack of movies for my son. Just some fun stuff there. Took a risk. I got these Lands and Women's Thong white leather flip-flops. They've got a little bit of wear there, but they look pretty clean. Um, I'm just going to have to wash the bottoms off a bit. But they're really in season, made in Brazil. Uh, hopefully there's a size on here, but I just thought those were kind of cute and somebody might be looking for something like this this time of year. These were a good find. See this elastic? They're um, trying to at Goodwill, which I really appreciate. They're trying to put an elastic on the shoes so they don't end up all separate. I did have some very sad experiences today with one shoe not being able to find the mate. These are Sicilis, I think that's how you say it. Comps on these are pretty good, probably about 25. They have this cool kind of cork, but it almost looks like a basket weave or something. They're brown, they're size 6.5, so a small um, size, but in really good condition. I thought those were a good pickup. Couldn't pass up these adorable little baby vans, toddler. They'll need kind of a quick cleanup, but they have this leather detail. And I'm thinking 15 probably on these. They're super light. I'll take scissors and just cut off this little thing, the little um, threads there. But they're in pretty good shape. Uh, you can't put the word Velcro in your title, which stinks because it's like a registered word, I guess. A pair of red toms. I only pick these up if they're in really good shape because they're hard to clean. These ones looked pretty good, so I'm hoping for $19.99 for those. Picked up a pair of these Crocs because they're so lightweight. Oh my god, of course I'm making a video. And the trash man's coming by. Sorry for the noise, you guys. Leave it to me, right? I got these because these are women's and they're the Mary Jane style and they're super lightweight. So maybe 15 to 20 on these. These were a good score. I actually tried to look these up in the store. Um, they're an espadrille. What makes it an espadrille is this kind of heel here. And the brand, I don't know how to say this, G-A-I-M-O-L. Gamo espadrilles, but since they said right here made in Spain, when they say made in Spain, I stop and take a look. They're beautiful, really buttery soft leather, and they look to be in really good shape. Comps on these are big size, I'd say at least an 11. Comps on these look to be about $29. So that's good. And again, this was different for me because I don't like to do a lot of shoes or or accessories and stuff, but I had no choice because that's all they had out today. Got these women's gloves. Um, the brand is Gordon. They look like they go for about $20. They say women's here. Gordini, ladies medium. They were in a camelback backpack, so my guess is there's some kind of 
people wear them for some kind of cycling. But the comps were about 20 on these. This brand is Cloud9. I think it's Clark's. I wasn't sure. But they're women's big size. They're size 11. And they said Cloud9. The reason I got them is just because of the way they're made. They, they just looked like maybe a nice comfort shoe. Then when I just did a quick comps on them, it looks like they're made by Clark's. I don't see that anywhere on here. These need just a little bit of a wash up, obviously. But, um... In other words, in other, they're in really good shape. They just need a quick sole rinse. These I got, This these always sell well for me, Borns. They're a current style, this kind of cork wedge, black, good size, size 39, size 8. They look a little dirty. Obviously, they need to be cleaned up. Um, but the cleanup's not going to be bad. It's just going to be a wipe here and a wipe on the bottom. So that's born, and I bet I can get, I'll put them up for $29.99 and hope to get um, $20 or $25. So then I got some bags and stuff. This I got, again, there was no clothes or anything, so I was just sifting through hard goods trying to find something that I liked. This is a crossbody bag. Let me get this out of the way. It's genuine leather. I liked the style of it. Um, it's in pretty good, clean shape, and it's from Nordstrom. So I'm, I'll just put that in the title. Nordstrom Woman's Small Black Cross Body Bag. It has magnetic closures. Nice handle. The only wear I see is just on the zipper. It's starting to fray here, so I'll just cut that off. And then just maybe polish it up with a little leather cleaner, and I think it'll be nice. This was fun! I don't know anything about this, but how amazing is this? It's a hip pack with like bananas and it has total 90s vibes. Von Zipper? No idea. But I'll do a little research. It's either made to look 80s, 90s, or it actually is. Either way, that's good This that's good right now because it's super in style. This next bag is the sack. These do pretty well. It's just a plain brown, very soft leather, pretty clean woman's crossbody bag. Um, and it looks like comps are 20 to 30 on this, so I'll put mine on there for $24.99. I really, if you feel this, you guys, the leather is just so soft and nice. Everything needs a little bit of a cleanup. This was kind of just a fun treasure bag for me. Um, obviously, somebody was like a jewelry maker. And so, how much do you love, like, a really organized container like this? With And then there's, like, all her jewelry stuff. So I can use this in my other job where I do some artwork stuff with kids. And, um, that's just fun. All these beads. At $1.79 a pound, I probably paid a few dollars for all this stuff. You get to take little risks like that. Oh my god, it just keeps on coming, you guys. I have more stuff. This is a pretty cool find. Um, this is the symbol, which I've seen before. I used to live in Boston, and everybody wore these crossbody box, crossbody messen, not crossbody messenger bags. The brand is Tim Tumbuk Two. And other than this thread right here, it's in really excellent, pretty excellent clean condition. Um, and comp, oh wow, it's like all lined with corduroy or something here. Comps are all over the place on these, depending on the style, but on this particular style, it could go anywhere between 40 and 60, it looks like. Um, it's going to be a little challenging to ship. Maybe it'll fit in a um, medium flat rate, one of those wide, wide and long ones, but we'll see. I'll let you know how that does. More bags. This is a good brand to know about. Um, the brand is Fossil. I recognize this key. And it's a Fossil bag. They make these really pretty prints and colors. This one is made of like canvas or something. So I'm hoping I can throw it in the wash because it just has like some dust. But it's really not in bad shape. FYI, if you see a bag and they're in super bad shape, you can people buy just the key. Um, they have really, they're known for their really cool hardware. This is genuine leather hardware. It says Fossil. Sold this before. 
pretty clean though for pre-owned you guys so i don't know what how that'll do but my hope is to get between 20 and 40. i'll, I'll have to do a little research on the style um there's another crossbody bag i got the brand is boc by born and i just liked thought this was a nice little bag a good size it's got black cream and brown leather pretty darn clean for a pre-owned bag i mean i'll polish it up a little bit but i don't know maybe 20 bucks on that if i'm lucky this i got for myself just to do a little de decorating with my vintage farmhouse decor this i took a chance on it looked interesting it's a men's cap but look at how well it's made. It's kind of a wool plaid, a wool plaid, and then on the inside has a contrasting lining. This is the brand, Yellow 108. I know I've seen that before, you guys. And look at the yellow Velcro they put here, that snap of color. So I have a feeling it's kind of a good one. I don't know. I know I've seen this tag. So it's a really sweet little cap, actually see how that one does this is a boiled wool bag which is a certain fashion um, boiled wool and I and comps on these look pretty good these look, has a long handle maybe for a little girl super cute this is a little girl's bag and I looked it up in the store it says Kath kids original London it's got little strawberries I don't know if it's a little purse or a little hip pack but it looks like they're going between 15 and 20 I'll show you that tag again just looked cute. Cath kids, so that's adorable. This I got for myself. It's just a little totes umbrella. I swear, every umbrella I have is like broken. I don't know. These were just some little Victoria's Secret shorts that were thrown in with the hard goods. So I'm like, why not? I'm, I'm making a little lot of Victoria's Secret because it hasn't done that well for me. And so I'm lotting up a few things by Victoria's Secret. This I showed in my other little video. Cute little O'Neill's the brand sunflower snapback hat. It's actually pretty nice. It has a little, it needs to be washed. I'm gonna throw it in the spray that was shout, throw it in the wash. I, I might take that and wear to the pool. I've been doing a lot with belts lately, looking for belts. Um, this one does not have a name brand, but it's genuine leather, and I liked the kind of cutout. And this one is yellow. I might lot these together. I found a bunch of belts, you guys, today, but pay attention to like how it looks. Sometimes the little holes are all um, ripped, torn, worn out. This one has got a little bit of wear there, see? But it can be really bad, so definitely check that. That's what made me throw a bunch of them back today. And I got some, oh my God, I got so many movies. I, I have like a pile of like 10 movies now. I have never even seen this. Okay. And I got a couple sun hats. It is the season. These like are really big right now. Like the wider the brim, the better. It just has a little leather cord. And the brand was Ann Taylor. So I just thought because of the style of this one and it's in really good shape, I can maybe sell that. I'm not exactly sure how to ship it, but it is very, this one's really flexible and floppy, but that's something you might have to think about. This hat I love. It's like a super floppy hat with this pink and brown rope cord, and the brand is Roxy. There were so many hats like this, but if they don't have a brand at all, I think it can be a little challenging to sell. I don't know what these go for, but maybe 15 bucks. Look how cute that is. I really love it. This is an actual vintage piece I just got for myself. I have kind of a vintage farmhouse-y metal look. And I swear, I think you used to keep matches in this or something? If anyone knows, let me know. But I love how it's all rusted up. That'll be kind of fun to decorate with, maybe in the garden. This, I know that people do sell these um, old set recorders. I got this one for my son because he's super into, um, like, spying on people. He's eight. <laughs> oh, my God. This is taking me back to the Walkman days. Um, but there is money to be made in these. You have to check and make sure they work. Okay, one more bag. So let's finish it up. Let's bring this thing home, guys. 35 bucks for all that. Are you kidding me? It's so good. I think I showed most of these. 
There's three more pairs of shoes in here. These are Clarks, and I really love the studded detail on this booty. They just need a little, this comes right off. I checked in the store, but so they're in really pretty good shape. There's a little wear to the toe. So I'm just gonna put a little polish on that and call it a day. This time of year, these are Merrells. And these like sports sandals, like Keens, Merrells, any of that do really good. These are a women's size. 8.5, so a good size. They, um, they're sort of a brown gray. They have a little bit of dirt on them, but they not too bad. And finally, I got this other pair of Merrells because they were just in such good shape. Um, sport shoes like this do really well for me, and I can, I'll put them on for like $29.99, and then, um, I'll ship them in a padded flat rate. They're so much, e they're so easy to ship. They seem to sell really well. So I think that's about it. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next video.